Mario's departed dear leader has been the inspiration behind many comedy gold moments. He may not have provided many laughs for his people, but for outsiders, Kim Jong-il was a rich vein of ridicule. When the dear leader became the dearly departed, don't expect too much respect. Contrast that with how the news was delivered by a North Korean anchor near tears. <laughs> the same anchor who delivered the news when Kim Jong-il's father died 17 years earlier. <laughs> But in the West, Kim was seen as a ruthless cartoon character dictator with an ego as big as his glasses, his many pairs of glasses. Kim was most famously portrayed by the creators of South Park, feeding UN inspector Hans Blix to his pet fish in Team America. You have any idea how f busy I am, Hans Blix? And singing mournfully as he made plans to destroy the world. I'm so lonely, so lonely, so lonely and sad, real alone. Those who portrayed him as a rapper weren't alone. The name Kim Jong, I got a license to ill. I'm only five foot three, but nobody gonna f with me, cause I'm on the <laughs> Intercontinental Ballistics, baby. A Kim Jong il impersonator even delivered the weather on 30 Rock. North Korea, everything's sunny all the time, always. Good time, beach party. And while in the West he is mocked, North Korea is being rocked by grief, if you can believe the video. State TV showed North Koreans crying and slapping the ground. A skeptic posted, I've seen better acting from Paris Hilton. But if it was acting, there was plenty of it. Inside homes, in front of murals, before statues. But the tears were more likely to be from laughter in the West over various lists circulating, like the top 10 strange facts about Kim Jong-il. Hard to confirm facts. Such as he once attempted to breed giant rabbits to alleviate famine, and he claimed to have invented the hamburger. People don't usually speak ill of the dead, unless your name is Kim Jong-il. Seems right no one takes me seriously. And so I'm wrong. He was said to be a film buff. I always wondered if he'd seen that movie. Of course, that was CNN's Jeannie Mose reporting to the